What's up everybody, this is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A-plus 221002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're gonna learn about proper communication techniques and professionalism while working within the IT environment. Let's talk about the use of proper language. So it shouldn't have to be stated, but the use of proper language is speaking in a manner that is professional to your work environment. This means avoiding cursing or swearing, especially within the presence of clients and customers. Also avoid using computer jargon and acronyms if possible as to not confuse customers who might not be hip to the lingo. Maintaining a positive attitude. So as a computer tech, your job is to solve computer problems for people who do not know how to solve these problems or they are restricted from solving these problems on their own. While you are out there solving computer related problems, you need to always maintain a positive attitude and project confidence that you will solve the problem even if you don't know what you're doing. You also want to actively listen to the customer. So when dealing with a customer, always actively listen to what the customer has to say, make eye contact, take notes and encourage open ended answers without interruptions. What the person says might provide clues about the reason for the problem. Be culturally sensitive. So always be mindful about cultural sensitivity in order to maintain good lines of communication. Use appropriate titles when addressing people such as Mr., Mrs., Mrs., Doctor, etc. And when a person has an accent and it is hard to understand them, just concentrate and ask the person to repeat anything that you did not understand. Be on time. So there's a saying that goes, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, don't even bother showing up. Punctuality is probably the most important ingredient in customer relationships. If you have to be late, contact the customer. Reliability is always highly valued by clients. Avoid distractions, so always remain focused on the task at hand when solving a problem for a customer. And do not let your cell phone, the TV, social media, coworkers, or some other event that is not related to the task at hand distract you, unless that distraction turns out to be a legit emergency. Just respect the customer's time until the job is finished. Let's talk about some tips for how you can deal with difficult customers and situations. So the first thing you want to do, you want to avoid arguing with customers and do not be offensive. The job is to solve the customer's problem and doing that can sometimes require a lot of patience. You do not want to minimize the customer's problems because problems that seem simple to a technician could be very difficult for a customer. Avoid being judgmental of your customers, forming opinions based on your personal feelings feelings can usually produce a bad outcome. Clarify customer statements. Ask the customer open-ended questions to further identify what the issue is and narrow the scope of the problem. Do not disclose experiences that you have with that customer on social media. Respect the customer's privacy by avoiding discussing your interactions with that customer on social media. Let's talk about setting and meeting expectations. So strengthening expectations and communication can be accomplished by offering different repair and replacement options and allowing the customer to select the one that works best in that situation. If possible, providing proper documentation of any services or products that are offered and by following up with the customer at a later date to verify the continued satisfaction. And let's talk about dealing appropriately with customers confidence confidential and private material. So always respect the privacy of a customer's data on their computer or mobile device while you have access to the device as you are trying to solve the problem for them. The only time you will break this privacy is if you discover something that is just flat out illegal. Do you want to go ahead and report that to the authorities outside of the scope of clearly illegal data? Remember that the customer's computer information printouts and other information is the customer's and such data needs to be kept private. Also, if the customer has confidential or private materials on their computer, ask the customer to move the information to another area that will prevent you from getting access to the material to protect you from any possible future suspicion later on. 
All right. So this was a real quick video talking about proper communication techniques and professionalism while working in IT. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220-1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.